New Era of China, New Journey for Western China. That's the theme for this year's Western China International Fair, held in person for the first time since the emergency of COVID-19. More than 3,500 domestic and foreign enterprises are taking part this year, spanning 17 national pavilions, including one from Belarus and another from Iceland. The fair began with an address given by Vice Premier of the State Council He Lifeng. Since it launched in the early 21st century, the Western China International Fair has been a bridge between Western China and the world. With all your hard work, the opening up and development of Western China, and its cooperation with the world, will have a better future. Now, I declare the 19th Western China International Fair open. The fair covers an area of over 200,000 meters. With six pavilions dedicated to the different themes, ranging from Belt and Road Cooperative to the further development of the Western region. Fifty various activities will be organized at the fair, and more than 3,900 investment projects will also be introduced in Western China. The fair will further promote the building of the Belt and Road Initiative, the development of the Western region, as well as the construction of the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle. Iceland's ambassador to China says the Western China International Fair provides an important platform for many products from Iceland. Well, it's an important market area for many of our products.、Uh, uh, we are not a, we are not a big country, but we have a num- number of important products that we we are selling in China, and they have been coming here since 2011. So.、Uh, So、if they have been coming here for every exhibit since 2011, that tells you that they 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 find some benefit. A growing number of enterprises have found new opportunities at the fair, which is seen as an important window for China's opening up, and the event provides a good opportunity for Western China to participate in building the Belt and the Road Initiative, as well as deepening international cooperation and exchanges. Chen Song, CGTN, Chengdu, Sichuan Province.